Between 1901 and World War I, which breaks out in 1914, but the U.S. doesn't enter until 1917, socialism grows to become a significant part of the political discourse in the United States, a, a factor in American life. Not a majority by any means, of course, but not a fringe sectarian group as it would later uh, uh, become. And the first thing we have to do to think about this is to remember my admonition, which I've mentioned before, to read history forward, not backward. You cannot understand the Socialist Party of the pre-World War I period without, in a sense, forgetting about World War I, the Russian Revolution, the Cold War, and many, many other things that will happen in the history of socialism and then communism, which will split socialism into sectarian groups, which will discredit it in many ways in the eyes of people. But nobody knows that's coming in the period from 1901 to 1914 or 1917. Um, today, socialism, to the extent that it exists at all in our political discourse, is just an all-purpose term of abuse, right? You hear on TV, Obama is a socialist, right? What do the people who say that mean? They don't actually understand either Obama or socialism. It's just a way of saying, I don't like Obama. So they, you know, I don't like this thing that he's done, that thing that he's done, fair enough. But to call him a socialist is absurd, but nonetheless, that is what the term, so, but so we have to go back but be, before that, before all these events of the 20th century to understand in its own context, socialism of the, uh, of the early uh, uh, 20th century. And it's difficult to do because the historical literature uh, doesn't help us all that much. Um, liberal historians, which is probably the majority, uh, is think socialism is kind of really irrelevant because the real story is the rise of 20th century liberalism from Woodrow Wilson through the New Deal of uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt and then on to the Great Society, etc. That's the trajectory and socialism uh, is just irrelevant in, in next to that. Um, on the other hand, um, communist historians who wrote in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, Saw the, social, saw the Socialist Party as lacking in revolutionary fervor. It seemed kind of moderate and mild compared to the radicalism of communists later on, so they didn't think much of it either. But the fact is, as I say, that a broadly based socialist movement did exist in America in the two decades coming up to World War uh, I. 